had a talk the other day with, with a young lady. She had a boot on her on her foot. And I asked if I could pray for her because I believe that um, we can lay hands on the sick and the child recover and the pain leave. Uh, her father's a minister. She's been in church all her life. She's been living in it all her life. And this is what she said. She said, I believe that I fell, I got hurt, and it's my responsibility. Um, why would I have God heal this if I'm the one that fell? Okay, fair enough. And so I asked her, I said, you know, I, I would like to pray for you. Just, just humor me. And she was laughing the whole time. And that's fine. I get that all the time. Um, and I asked her this. Um, I said, why do you think I'm praying for you? Why do you think I'm coming up to you and, and, and asking you to do that? Right? Either I believe it or I'm just uh, an idiot. That's just plain simple. Either I'm, I'm believing the word of God or I'm just an idiot. Straight up. Um, here's what she said. She said, prayer is good. It's always good. I said, yes, you're right. But the prayer of faith is even better, right? And she said, well, if it's God's will for me to be healed, he'll do it. I said this. I said, how can we stand in faith and pray for someone if we don't know if it's his will or not? That is not a prayer of faith. A prayer of faith is knowing and doing it. So this means this, that if you don't know if it's the will of God, whether a person be healed or not, and you pray for them, you are not standing in faith because you really don't know. And if you really don't know, then you can't stand in agreement with anything. You're wavering because you don't really know. It's really So here it is. We're supposed to be Christ-like. And this is what I told her. She said, that's awesome that you came up to me and prayed for that. you know." And I said, well, here's the sad thing. We're all supposed to do this. We're all supposed to go and, and fill a need in, in Jesus. If you see someone hurt, if you see someone down, if you see someone in pain, if you see someone that needs prayer, uh, we're supposed to go up to them and pray for them, if not with them, and basically have compassion on them. And I said, the only reason I came up to you is because I have compassion, because I don't want to see you walking around like that, because it ain't right, you know? Um, and she said, well, not everybody does that. And I said, that's the problem. Not everybody does it. And I said, what is the main goal as a Christian, right? And I told her about the Great Commission. And you got to understand that she's been raised in church, and is what she said. She said that um, the, the, the main commission, the, 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 the commission is this, to go out, to spread the gospel, right? And to make disciples. And I said this, who are we supposed to disciple and how are we supposed to disciple them, right? And she said, well, the main thing is we're supposed to be Christ-like. And I said, that's my point. That's my point. What does it mean to be Christ-like? That's the key. That's the question. What is it? What is it to be Christ-like, right? In every area or just to be loving like Jesus? Because Jesus just wasn't loving. Jesus acted in love. He had compassion and did things out of compassion. So we've lost compassion. We don't really care about our brothers in Christ anymore. Some do, not all. We really don't. We can walk by people and really can care less what their situation is in life. Um, but if Christ is in us, we have an obligation and responsibility as brothers in Christ to stop, okay? And okay, so what if it takes a minute or two minutes out of your life? I mean, what's that cost? What's it costing you? Time. You know, that's all this costing is time. And um, so here's the question. What does it mean to be Christ-like? What does that mean? Okay, if some say, well, it doesn't mean to, to, to pray hands, to lay hands on the sick and they'll recover because I'm like, wait a minute. You want to know what it means to be Christ-like? We need to study the walk of Christ. And the word said that, that if, if, we believe, if we love Him, that we'll follow His commandments, right? And we'll do things He did and things greater. So what does it mean to be Christ-like? That's the question that I have for everyone here on Facebook. What's it mean to be Christ-like? Do you know? Is it just to go out and speak the gospel? Uh, is it also, I mean, what is it? Do you know? I want to challenge you guys today. What does it mean to be Christ-like? Are you Christ-like? Are people seeing Christ in you? I have flaws too, believe me. I'm not always Christ-like, okay? But it's always there. I'm always trying to better myself. I'm trying my best for them to see Christ. So, from me to you, 
What does it mean to be Christ-like? Hmm. Okay. All right, well, that's what I got for you. If you want to leave a comment, go ahead. Um, you'd be amazed at what people say, what it means to be Christ-like. But I want you to dig deep and really find out what it means to be Christ-like. Is it in every area? Is it in some areas? Is it just here? Is it just there? Is it all the time? Or is it once in a while? Do we live like Christ or do we just act like Christ? What's the difference? <laughs> all right, God bless.